Hi guys, today we're taking a look at some upcoming content for Plants vs Zombies 2 making its way to the game in version 10.1.1 which has been forecast to release in December. Most recently, two new plants, Vampusini and Meteor Flower have taken the spotlight with their release coming very soon indeed, but today we're going to be taking a look at a very familiar face, Chili Pepper. Now, obviously, before we continue, as with all upcoming content, it is very likely to change and may not make it into the game, so just keep that in mind. Over on the Plants vs Zombies wiki, we have a couple of details around Chili Pepper. The plant has been found in the code for the game, but at the moment, we only have the seed packet image. It's expected that information about its abilities will be seen in around a month and a half. As for the visuals itself, I think it looks quite different from how Chili Pepper has looked in the past. I wouldn't say it looks bad by any means, but it's just not what I expected it to look like in the PVZ2 style. They've gone for a more younger look here, I guess, with the baby tooth sticking out and the large eyes. There's also quite a bit of additional blemishing and markings that I don't think we typically get on many other plants. Now, Chili Pepper has been in the franchise since Plants vs Zombies Adventures, later making another appearance in Plants vs Zombies Heroes, and more recently in Plants vs Zombies 3, where it featured as an ability. Throughout all games, Chili Pepper has had a very similar ability, and if you can't guess by the name, it freezes zombies. Closely related to Jalapeno, Chili Pepper can freeze an entire path of zombies. Bringing this back to Plants vs Zombies 2, I imagine Chili Pepper will work very much like its PVZ3 counterpart, freezing an entire vertical column of zombies. I'm not actually sure how useful this is going to be given we have so many ice plants already and I do find it surprising that it has taken so long for this plant to make it into the game. The only other couple of bits of upcoming content we have in the pipeline and coming much sooner are icons and banners for timed events. This includes the icon and banner for the harvest festival which features a delicious selection of fruit and vegetables. The other main set of icon and banner is for the very spooky Lord of Doom. The only other two icons we have are for Valenbrains and the Roman event. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on Chili Pepper in the comments below. But other than that, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you would like to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen or through the link in the description. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.